A massive molasses spill in Honolulu Harbor continues to kill thousands of fish tonight. Such difficult images to see. KITV Force Nana Okawa was at Honolulu Harbor today and has this report. It is our top story at 10:30. Yanji, reports of the spill came in yesterday morning. Volunteers and environmentalists have been here at Honolulu Harbor and at Kei Lagoon trying to save the fish they can. But take a look, many of the fish have already died. Now, we spoke to a biologist who said for the fish, it's as if their house caught on fire. Reef fish, eel, predators, and prey, all swimming up to shore, gasping for any oxygen they can get. Thousands are suffocating and dying. The molasses spill caused by Matson's faulty pipe under Pier 52. There are two large reservoirs that contain molasses, and during the loading of the molasses into a ship early Monday morning, uh, an amount of molasses was spilled into the harbor. That amount, the DOH says, 1,400 tons. That's more than 200,000 gallons of thick sugar water. Biologists say the molasses is sinking to the ocean floor. They're trying to get away from that deeper water where they normally would live because uh, there's an environmental change down there. It's either uh, low in oxygen or there's something affecting their ability to breathe, and it's causing them to come up to the surface and in toward shore. The DNR says those severe environmental impacts are going to be long term. Nutrient rich molasses could cause an unusual increase in harmful bacteria and algae. But the DOH says it doesn't know how to clean up the mess. So it'll let nature take its course, waiting for the thick sugar water to dissolve. So it's not like an oil spill where the oil will uh, rise to the surface and can be skimmed out mechanically. Um, there's no way that we've identified uh, to reduce uh, the molasses that is already in the water. Matson released a statement today saying Matson regrets that the incident impacted many harbor users as well as wildlife. We take our role as environmental steward very seriously. DOH officials are warning people to stay out of the harbor and of the lagoon because they say as the fish die, there will be an increase of sharks and barracudas. Now, the consequences or fines for Matson have still not been determined. Yanji, back to you.